Hey everyone, welcome back to our DC News. Today we have some breaking news about the Lantern Show that has really come out of nowhere. We heard the names that were in the mix with Josh Brolin and Matthew McConaughey rejecting the roles, but now it appears that Kyle Chandler is our new Hal Jordan. This is a really big surprise, so let's talk about it. Okay, so The Hollywood Reporter has stated Emmy winner Kyle Chandler is set to play the legendary member of the Green Lantern Corps in the series. The writer of this article also stated, interesting aspect to this, Chandler does not have a movie component to his deal, according to my sources. So firstly, who is Kyle Chandler? He is a 59-year-old American actor best known for appearing in films like Argo, Super 8, and even Godzilla King of the Monsters. And whilst I think he does does look the part, his age and what the writer of the Hollywood Reporter article said about him not having a movie component in his deal does concern me. This doesn't sound like a character who will be around for a while. In fact, to me this sounds like someone who is going to die early on in the DCU, if not in the show itself. Now maybe he just won't be in the movies at this stage, and instead Jon Stewart will as he will be the younger Lantern in the universe, and maybe Hal just appears for this show and then later on down the line. But I don't know, that would have sounded more likely if Kyle wasn't as old as he is. 59 years old does not sound like someone who will be sticking around in a cinematic universe for a long time. That sounds like someone who will be there for a couple of years at the most. Now something that DCU Updates theorised, which I think is a great idea, is that the article states the story sees the two characters investigating an earthbound murder with larger implications, and DCU Updates thinks the murder could be a lantern who got killed, which is what the larger implications are, and I think maybe by the end of the show, whoever was powerful enough to kill the Lantern maybe kills Hal too. And this would leave Jon Stewart on his own, and maybe this is what brings him to join the Justice League if there is one in the DCU yet. The article states, Lanterns is described as having a gritty, true detective vibe, as it focuses on Jordan reluctantly mentoring a younger Lantern, Jon Stewart. Sources say that DC and the producers are looking for a young, more fresh-faced actor for the role to play opposite an older and bigger name, which implies to me that John in this timeline is a rookie with a lot to learn, and Hal reluctantly has to teach him to become a lantern, and by the end of the show, he maybe dies and passes the torch on to John. Now, I would be upset by this because I've really wanted to see a proper live action Hal Jordan for a while now, and now we finally are getting an organized DC universe. I was hoping we would get a proper amount of time with him, but it kind of sounds like we won't. Now, like I have said on the channel recently, I won't jump the gun. The casting hasn't even been announced yet, and maybe the show will give a really nice send-off for the character that actually feels right. And who knows, maybe he doesn't actually die. Maybe he will just appear in another show and not movies at this point. He could go off on a mission that means we won't see him for a while, forcing Jon Stewart to be left on his own. There are so many possibilities that aren't him dying, but obviously we go to the worst case scenario, so we should just take a step back and think that we hardly know anything about the show and what may seem like one thing right now could actually be something entirely different when we see the show. And to be honest, this could be refreshing. It's something new and not something we have seen almost every single time. It's why I love the Snyderverse films, the Batman and the Dark Knight trilogy. They all created new takes and styles that moved away from the norm and that was so refreshing. So I'm not going to bash this decision if it's true because I like takes that step away from what is the most common version of these characters. Sure, it can be equally as enjoyable to see the true classic version of the characters, but I know from past movies that some of my favourite versions of these characters are from stories that go bold and move away from the most popular adaptations. The counter argument to that is that with characters like Superman and Batman, we have seen many live action takes, so it's different for characters like that than with Green Lantern, where only Ryan Reynolds has really been Hal Jordan in 
live action and most hated that take. So people are more desperate to see a classic Hal Jordan for a long time in the DCU than maybe for other heroes who we have seen multiple times in live action. So I do get why people are upset. Now as for Kyle Chandler actually being our new Hal Jordan, I think he looks the part and I think he is a good actor. I think he actually fits the role far more than Josh Brolin and Matthew McConaughey and he wasn't my first choice but I think he will be really good in the role. I hope he will be around for a long time in the DCU but if he isn't then that's okay if it works for the story and feels like it was earned and time will tell with that but I am optimistic. So let me know your thoughts on this casting news and the rumour that Hal may die early on in the DCU. I've seen some people complaining that they've gone with Kyle as the studio has no money as they have gone with a smaller actor but I just don't get that. Firstly, Kyle is an Emmy winning actor. You don't get that if you're not good at acting and he definitely isn't a small actor. He was being paid $175,000 per episode on one show so that isn't cheap. Secondly, people were complaining when Josh Brolin and Matthew McConaughey were their first choices and they are huge actors that would have cost a lot of money. So how can the studio have no money yet wanted to hire very expensive actors? So that criticism just doesn't add up. So I will be interested to see what you guys think so let me know in the comments below. But that is all for today's episode of our DC News. Please make sure to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. I hope to see you here again next episode so until then I hope you have a great week. Bye!